<laughs> I don't, don't want to get jet wash. Uh, we're back up in Tehachapi, California, and we were just just, just discussing the whole phenomenon of density altitude because we're at about 4,500 feet, and now it's about 86 degrees. So I'm sure it's gonna play a little bit of a role. There goes a FMS Ranger. All right, All right taking off. You know, we're with Brent Hecht, and uh, we're out here with the Flex Innovations F100 Super Saber. So this is a model that Brent has modded a, a little slightly, and a lot of folks may go, huh? But trust me, Brent knows exactly what he's doing. And yes, yank the 90 out and put a much more efficient 80 in. Yes, 80. A lot of times with EDFs, people get wrapped around the size of the fan. And that doesn't necessarily mean it's efficient. That just means that it's a big fan, right? So in this case, this 80 uh, fan that's in the plane now is much more efficient than the 90 that came in it. So uh, you can hear it. It's just very quiet. It's a nine blade fan and uh it's just sweet uh hey brent what are you flying this on for battery it's a 6s5 or 6 uh 6s6250 it's a roaring top 35c 6250 35c roaring top so uh so not real crazy on the c rating because i'm sorry not real high on the uh, c rating oh yeah yeah well you know what the funny and there's another funny thing we're, we're we, we can debunk myth busters right <laughs> so Larger fan equals better. Eh, not necessarily. Uh, you must fly your jets on 60C or better. Eh, not necessarily. Uh, as long as I've known Brent, and I've known him for uh, a hot minute, um, he's never really flown on anything more than like 30s or <laughs> 35s or whatever. Um, and... And I mean to include his gigantic uh, T-38 Talon. So it's really about taking care of your batteries, charging them properly, um, discharging them properly, et cetera, et cetera. So and, and where am I going wrong with that, Brent? Is that about right? Yeah, also, it's like a lot of the way a lot to do with how you fly, too. Yeah. Because some guys fly wide open. And oh really, sure. It's really hard on batteries. Sure. Sure. But you actually realize that that left stick is something called a throttle. And <laughs> you can you can and, and these aircraft are equipped with a thing called an ex electronic speed controller or ESC and together they actually uh, help control the speed of the motors. No, I I'm, I know I'm being facetious, but seriously. Um it is about how you uh, how you fly your model. Hey guys, I'm gonna... I don't have a lot of time, so uh, no, you can go ahead and get it. I'm just saying, I don't, I've only got about a minute and a half, so that should be enough time to grab it. You can go ahead and get it. So we have a we have a. I'll just stay up high. A flipped over Ranger. So we're gonna do a aircraft rescue. And we have the... Uh, you can go out. You're fine. So Brent's going to hold long. Hold on the far side of the runway while that's accomplished. And this is just a gorgeous model. I mean, Flex Innovations did a really good job. This plane's available in both these uh, Thunderbird markings and I believe... It's also available in Southeast Asia as well. So the, uh, I think it was a tricolor, I think, uh, camouflage that was uh, utilized in, uh, well, Southeast Asia. I don't want to just say Vietnam because it wasn't just Vietnam. It was Cambodia, Laos, uh, etc. So these aircraft were a, a Cold War aircraft. I b believe uh, this was one of the first uh, Mach 1 jet fighters in the U.S. inventory, or one of the first anyways, and 
Vietnam or Southeast Asia, uh, it was utilized mostly in the ground support role, so close air support uh, is what we call it today. Um, and it was a very good platform for that, it really was. Could carry a lot of bombs, they're a nice knife edge. I believe these things could carry a lot of bombs. Um, I want to say I've seen the pictures of them carrying the bombs anyways. So uh, let's see here, let's see what we got. Uh, and just so you all understand, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, you know, trying to follow these silver planes for some reason, the camera doesn't like following them. I don't know why, but it, it's going in and out of focus. So uh, I apologize for that up front. There we go. Greased it as usual. Uh, about five minutes on the yeah that's one that's another uh, oh five and a half minutes I apologize five and a half minutes and that was another thing I failed to mention in my constant yammering was that uh, another thing Brent was trying to achieve was longer flight times and I think he did that so with a, a slightly smaller motor or a correction fan um, we're getting some decent flight times out of this so. Thank you, Brent, for allowing me to join you. It's Labor Day 2021, and we're with Brent Heck. We're in Tehachapi, California, and we have the Flex Innovations F100 Super Sabre. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. Hit that notification bell. If you like what you see, hit the notification bell. If you don't like what you see, and subscribe. The subscriptions are all appreciated. Anyways, thanks for watching, everyone. Cheers and happy landings from Tehachapi, California.